Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by, I am Chit Chat, and today is an amazing day. I have been looking forward to this day for quite a while, and it's because a little blue hedgehog has a new game out, and it's a little something called Sonic Mania, and you better believe we are going to be unboxing this bad boy. Now before we begin, I totally realize I've never done an unboxing before on this channel, but I was so excited to get this, I thought, why not? I'm a huge Sonic fan, we've done Sonic related projects on this channel before, and I am so excited to play this game. In fact, I kind of want to play it on the channel, I'm that excited. I don't want to wait, I just want to unbox this and get right to the game. So. First things first, this box is absolutely amazing. It harkens back to the old Sega Genesis style box, especially with this kind of like this grid pattern that they have in the background. And just the artwork in general just screams the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Circling this around, it kind of gives you a bit of a description of what's all in this uh, package, which includes the collector's box. Here it is. The 12 inch statue with Sega startup audio, which is really cool. So Sonic is standing on top of this Sega Genesis, which isn't actually a Sega Genesis. It's just the stand looks like one and it plays the startup. Uh, sound. It also includes a Sega cartridge cast with golden ring, which is right here, which is really cool because it looks like one of the old school Sega cartridges. And then um, a digital game download code. That's right, there isn't actually a physical copy of the game in this collector's edition, it's just a download code. I assume it was because it would be too expensive to actually produce the discs for the game, so it's just a download game only. And also it includes this card. Now I remember on one of the Sonic uh, streams, they said that originally they were going to put the code on this card, but it wasn't something they were allowed to do. So they just ended up just giving us this card just because they said they were going to, and it serves no purpose other than just being a cool card. So over here we have a bit of a description. Gorgeous Pixel Graphics! This all-new experience celebrates the best of classic Sonic, pushing the envelope forward with stunning 60 FPS gameplay and pixel-perfect physics. They should have added blast processing in there while they were at it because uh, who doesn't remember good old blast processing? So let's go ahead and actually get to the unboxing part. I've already went ahead and opened up the tape because I didn't want to have to do that on camera. So it looks like inside this box is yet another box. Okay, this might be a bit more difficult than I imagined. Uh, one moment. There we go. Almost. 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 There we are. Okay, so now we've got our box that was within the box, and as you can see, it's everything's the same. It's the same graphics, same everything. Um, and this box actually doesn't open up like a normal box does. It actually opens up like a book, like an old Sega Genesis cartridge holder. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Da, 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 da. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it already. There is a smell in this box that is powerful. It is ridiculously strong. Okay, I'm trying to be really careful. This this kind of seems like a bit janky to me. Like it's like, oh, here you go. This one piece of plastic should keep everything in place. And obviously it didn't because my code is not, I assume the code was supposed to be here, but it was outside. So, uh, okay, let's see. Let's hold the statue off last. I'm gonna go ahead and get this card out which is probably the most, you know, um, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but here it is, here's the card. It's metal actually, which is really cool. Get a better detail of that on camera, but got Sonic on one side and Tails and Knuckles on the other. So again, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's cool. They made a promise and they held up their end of the bargain. So I like that. And then the next thing is going to be, I'm trying to be really careful not to mess with the statue. So this next thing is going to be a Sonic Mania old school Sega Genesis cartridge. Now again, this isn't meant to do anything other than just be like a cool item. Um, it doesn't play a game, it doesn't plug into a Sega Genesis because actually, and it's kind of weird that they did this, but it's also really cool at the same time because you would never want to do this as, as a collector or as a gamer. So you actually pull on the data strip and this, it's actually a little bit, there we go. And a golden ring slides out. It'll protect you, obviously. You got one ring, you can take on any boss you want. So the ring is, uh, it's actually got a nice weight to it. So I don't really know what this could be used for. It would actually be kind of fun if it was large enough to actually like fit with the Sonic statue somehow, but it's just a, uh, it's just a cool ring. 
And just for a comparison, I have my old Sonic 2 Sega Genesis cartridge. So they look like they're almost, if not exactly, they're almost, ex they're almost. Uh, the Sonic Mania one's just slightly bigger. So you can tell, just slightly bigger, but it's really cool. Like this is, <laughs> this is as accurate as you could possibly get. It even has kind of a similar texture to it. So this is really nice. This is super cool. I love it. Okay, last but certainly not least is this amazing, amazing Sonic statue, which I'm gonna be really careful getting out of here. All right, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for, and it's surprisingly light. It looks like it's just made out of just normal plastic, um, which is perfectly fine with me. I actually have a couple of the first four figure Sonic statues, and um, they are a lot more breakable than this bad boy. Uh, actually, every single statue that I've owned from first four figures has come damaged in some way. So I'm actually okay with harder plastic instead of, you know, like nicer material. Just because I don't have to worry so much about this and it's not heavy at all. And, like, this is just really cool. So I know this takes batteries and they are not included. And I'm actually kind of worried to flip this upside down so the batteries go right there and we're gonna put some batteries in and test it out before the end of this video so do not worry uh, that'll be the last thing we do but just just take a look at some of the details on this thing so the volume control does slide up and down from what I've been told it doesn't do anything other than the fact that it just it can do it that's that's all it is and the speaker for the Sega noise comes out of here and this is just this is just so well done. This is a true love letter to the classic Sonic fans and his his pose is exactly the same as it is on the box art which is really cool. All right, so I can confirm this guy takes two AA batteries and now that they're in, we can go ahead and listen to that classic Sega startup sound. So that's it for the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition, probably one of the coolest collector's editions I've ever had. Uh, the only one I can think that even comes close to this is the uh, Infamous 2 Collector's Edition, which like had Cole's backpack, a statue of him, I think like a comic book, the soundtrack, like it had a lot of stuff in it. But this, this is pretty darn cool and definitely a must have for any Sega fan. I think it was about like maybe $60, $70 with tax, um, which... I mean, it's like 10 bucks more than a regular price game, so I think that's a pretty good deal for the statue, the really cool cartridge, and of course the game, so I'm perfectly happy with this, and he is going to be sitting in my glass case with my first four figure Sonic statues. So I hope you like this video, I hope you have an amazing day, and as always, I will chat with you later.